The cast of Peaky Blinders has featured and tragically lost some true legends. Here are some of the actors from the series you may not know have passed away. The late Carl Shields might not be a name that Peaky Blinders fans immediately recognize, but he played a key role in the show's very first season. He portrayed Irish Republican Army member Ryan, who approaches Tommy with his cousin to make an offer for the machine guns that Peaky Blinders stole. We'd pay good money. You have good money. We have the collections from the pubs. Born in Dublin, Shields was a huge presence in the Irish live theater scene for years, working in all manner of productions as both an actor and director. He earned many accolades over the course of his life, including a 1999 award for Best Actor at the Dublin Theatre Festival. One of his most prominent roles was that of Robbie Quinn in the Irish soap opera Fair City, whom he played for nearly 200 episodes. Shields passed away in his sleep in July 2019 at the age of 47. Jeremiah Jesus has got to be one of the most beloved Peaky Blinders characters, even though his screen time is relatively limited. A street preacher, war veteran, and honorary Peaky Blinder, Jeremiah always seems to show up when he's needed the most. God says he don't deal with small heaps, sir. Good man. It's hard to imagine anyone other than the late Benjamin Zephaniah playing Jeremiah. Though he appeared in other TV shows, Zephaniah's artistic pursuits transcended acting. He was a musician, a poet, and an outspoken critic of English imperialism. After the death of reggae superstar Bob Marley, Zephaniah was the first new singer to record with his old band, The Wailers. He also hosted a concert for Nelson Mandela in 1996. In 2003, Zephaniah was offered a prestigious OBE, or Order of the British Empire, but rejected it, decrying the United Kingdom's extensive history of slavery and colonialism. I've been writing to connect with people, not to impress governments and monarchy. Zephaniah died of a brain tumor in December 2023 at the age of 65. According to a post made on his official Instagram account, his wife was by his side when he passed. In Peaky Blinders, Tim Woodward played Lord Suckerby, a member of Parliament accused by Tommy Shelby of despicable crimes in Season 5. He may have only ever appeared in a single Peaky Blinders episode, but Woodward had an impressive career that spanned the stage, film, and television. He's probably best remembered as the star of Wings, a BBC war drama from the 1970s, but he appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows over his career. In November 2023, Woodward died of cancer at 70 years old. He survived by his wife, Amanda, and his five children. The acting world lost a true titan when Helen McCrory died of breast cancer in April 2021. She was only 52 years old. Across her career, McCrory built a reputation as one of the best actors of her era. In between critically acclaimed turns on stage, she worked on a ton of major TV series and films, including the Harry Potter franchise, Penny Dreadful, and Hugo, among many, many others. But of all her roles, none stands taller than that of Polly Gray on Peaky Blinders. For much of the show, Polly is practically a dual protagonist with Tommy, providing a veteran voice that can stand up to him and give counsel when he leads the family astray. Every scene where McCrory gets to take up space as Polly, and there are a lot of them, is a high point. I will wear high heels so you can hear my approach on the cobblestones and have time to repent. After her death, series creator Stephen Knight said, Helen was one of the great actors of her generation. She was so powerful and controlled, and this is so sad. <laughs>